Hello everybody, welcome back to Stake Insanity. So in this update, I know I said on the last update that I was going to wait and sort of start the diet full time back in July, but actually I couldn't wait that long. So I've now been back on the diet pretty strict, um, except for peanuts, which I've always had. Um, but yeah, for a few days now. So I'm already starting to feel better again. I feel better about myself. Um, I'm losing a little bit of the weight, but again, not about weight. Um, I just basically I've realized that even though I kind of went through a period where I cheated a little bit and I was basically off the diet for a while, I just feel terrible, not terrible, but I just don't feel well if I'm not on the diet and I'm eating too much, certainly of wheat. Um, carbs don't really seem to bother me that much. So I know I've always said that I could eat rice, um, which was fine, but I just find that I feel better if I don't have it even, I mean, I can have, you know, if, if I have something like my wife might make some curry or something like that, and I'll pull the chicken out of it. And if I have a couple of grains of rice and obviously that's fine, but not eating like, you know, spoons full of it or, you know, like a whole cup of it or anything. So I just feel so much better if I don't have it. And, you know, if I stick to water, the one thing I think I might try in July is actually going no dairy, because a big part of what I have had in the past is I have had, I do have lots of milk because I have teas and coffees and things all day. And I do like a bit of cheese because I find that that's really good for snacking. And I have peanuts, obviously, that I've talked about before as some sort of a snack food, but I've watched a few videos by a few different people, and I think that it might be interesting to try it without dairy. So maybe no milk, no yogurt, no anything like that. If I do have yogurt, by the way, I just have plain yogurt with nothing in it, no sugar, but at least it's something different um, to have to eat. So I would probably keep eggs in, so I would have meat and eggs, and um, and that could consist of, again, sort of chicken and and fish and some other stuff. So I'm not lion diet, but just meat and, and proteins and maybe see how that goes. So that is going to be really, really difficult though, because I'm, that's going to be a fundamental change because one of the things I do like to get up in the morning, I like to have a coffee. I have a daily routine. I go and I get a latte from my coffee shop before I go to work. And I think cutting out milk and dairy is going to be really difficult. So I don't, I don't know how that's going to go. So it's something new maybe for me to talk about and to, to talk about with some people. So if you've cut, if you were a big dairy person and like to have a lot of milk and coffee and tea and all that sort of stuff, and then you cut it out of your diet, I'd be really interested to know how you got through it, whether it was difficult or easy. I am weaning myself off of it gradually, but I'm, it, it's going to be challenging. So I'm going to have to find something else to substitute for a snack. When I talked about the doing some interviews, one of the guys that um, I did talk about, he goes by Uncle Beef and he's a butcher. He's a South African who now lives in London and he makes his own biltong and it's supposed to be amazing. So what I think I might do is I really want to pay a visit to him and in his butcher shop and I need to organize a time to do the interview so that I can do it for the channel. So what I'll do is I'm going to go and see him and I'm going to get some biltong while I'm there. I don't, I've tried jerky and biltong and all that sort of stuff. This, the stuff that I buy from the store and I'm not a huge fan, um, of most of it. So I'm just going to maybe try his and see if that's any better. So that could be something that I could have for those little snacky times. You know, like particularly when I come home at night from the gym, I might sit down, I might have, you know, I'll have a steak or I'll have some mince or something like that. But then later in the evening, I just, I feel like I haven't had enough. And so I want to have something. So what I've been having is cheese or a little bit of um, yogurt, plain, like I said, plain yogurt or something. So maybe if I've got some biltong to, to snack on instead of that, and instead of maybe peanut butter or raw peanuts, I have moved off of eating peanut butter on to just having raw roasted peanuts because I think if I'm going to have them, that's probably the better option simply because it hasn't been processed. So it doesn't have anything extra. It's literally just the roasted peanuts with a bit of salt on it. And it does give me a little bit of extra salt. So 
Um, anyway, back on the diet, feeling better, back in the gym. Um, I don't, I do have some events that I'm going to be going to again this week. So this is event season until everybody goes on holiday. And then in September, when everybody comes back, that's September and October and into November also going to be event season. So I got to sort myself out and I've got to figure out how to navigate those events a little bit better so that I don't end up coming off the diet and I don't get off track. So anyway, I've got a few things to talk about, I think, coming up. So hopefully we'll be able to get more videos out. Um, leave comments for me. I really like to hear from people. I like to hear what you have to say. If you have comments, if you've had the same struggles, if you have any questions, anything like that, please drop a comment in. I do read them all and I try and respond to as many as possible. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Those subscriptions really, really help me. So the sooner I can get to 500 subscribers, then I'll be the first level of the partner program with YouTube. And then that will give me some, some benefits that I don't have at the minute. So uh, yeah, if you can do that for me, that would be fantastic. And if you, if you like the updates, hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I post new videos. And anyway, other than that, that's it for today. Everybody have a good weekend. I hope you're doing well on your diets and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.